Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check new kit from Tiger model. As usual you can find detailed review article link in the video description below, just click it and you'll be able to read full review article with detailed photos and text in English and Russian. As for the today's kit, it's a, a 135 scale model, as you can see it copies IDF Nagmahon, but this time it copies early version of this vehicle, uh, before the same manufacturer was released in the late version, so now we have the early one. Uh, here we have short list of the features, uh, so newly designed uh, hull, also brand new design of the whole kit, Precision P parts, great fit, and etc. etc. Here we have one of the marking options. As you can see, it was created in cooperation with Amomic. Here is a short history note and kit info. So it's written that assembled model will measure 225 millimeters length and 115 millimeters width. And there is no word about parts count. On the other side, we have short history note top view of the vehicle, P thread, and as you can see here we have three different types of the transparent parts. Uh, this is quite sturdy cardboard box, as you can see it survived uh, post-shipment to me, so you don't have to be worried about possible problems with uh, condition of parts after some rough shipment, but as you can see it's a bit tight fit, so just give me a second to open it, and we'll check it closer. Actually, it's quite surprising why it's so tight, because all other boxes are opening without any extra issues. So, here we have all plastic screws packed together. As you can see, there are no separators inside the box. Nevertheless, at least screws are packed into the separate plastic bags, so you won't have to worry about possible damages. Moreover, uh, all special bonuses are packed together, so they won't be bent. So let's start from them. Uh, as you can see, they are packed into the Ziploc bag. Here we have special set of stickers which you can apply on the sprues so that you can easy fi easily find the necessary one which you need at the moment. Next, we have plastic polycaps. Actually, these are vinyl polycaps. Then PE thread. Next is a towing cable. Decal sheet. This one I have to open because it is not visible. Just give me a second. Okay. So here is the decal sheet. Um, there is no mention where it was printed, but as you can see, printing quality is quite nice, so no worries. And I hope application will be easy as well. And last bonus here is small chain, as far as I can see, which is packed into the separate plastic bag. So just give me a second to open it, and we'll be able to check it. So here it is, quite small chain, which should be no apply it on your vehicle, let's say. Let's move on. Next we have rubber, I guess these are rubber tires, which should be used with road wheels. Um, actually those parts are vinyl, as I can see, or rubber. Just give me a second to open, and we'll check it closer. Bags are closed with help of paper clips, that's why it's a bit tricky to open them, and I still hope that Tiger model will start to use resealable bags which are easy to open and easy to work with. Uh, those rubber parts are absolutely identical, so I will show you only one set. Here it is. As you can see they are fully flexible and they look quite simple, I mean just the simple tires. There is no wall detailing as far as you can see. and. You have to put here the road view, as I said before. Next, we have several types of transparent sprues. Here you can see them. Just give me a second to open them.
they are separated with this plastic bag so that one, they won't be scratched. So we have blue one, we have transparent one and we have also violet one. It will be up to you which one you will be using on your vehicle. Next we have separate plastic bag with track parts. Of course these are separate track links which will have to be assembled together in order to get a final appearance. Just give me a second to open it. Plastic frames, as far as you can see, are absolutely similar because they carry identical parts. Here it is. Let's zoom in. So here you can see track links. These are placed on three attachment points, so be careful when you will be separating it. But otherwise I don't see any flaws and they look quite nice. Of course it's better than vinyl tracks which we are used to see in some kits from other big and famous manufacturers, let's say. Next we have road wheels. They are molded on small plastic sprues. Again I need a second to open the plastic bag. It's a bit tricky because of the paper clips. Nevertheless, here it is. So each road wheel should be assembled out of two halves, and then you have to add um, rubber part, which we saw before. I will zoom camera so that you can see them closer. They look quite nice, and I think with careful painting and weathering, you can get really attractive result. Uh, next we have separately packed uh, plastic sprue with tools and different external accessories. So just give me a second. So here it is. Few can should be assembled out of two halves. Actually this one with this one. And as you can see there are position pins inside so that you won't have any problems with alignment. And note here we have machine gun which is molded as one piece part and it looks quite nice. Here you can see it. Let's zoom out camera. Next we have more of the suspension parts and some external elements. So just give me a second. Okay. And here it is. So here we have drive sprockets, also some turret parts and some thin parts, not this one because it's really tender and you have to be careful while separating it. And also here we have some suspension parts as I said before. Molding quality is really good. I mean, it can be compared with all big manufacturers on the market because I don't see any flash or other possible uh, molding problems which can occur here. Next plastic sprue, just give me a second. I just wonder who is choosing those paper clips for packaging. It's really tedious and you have to go through this procedure while opening your new kit. So here we have some interior parts. As you can see wiring is imitated inside and maybe with careful painting you can emphasize it on your uh, model. On the other side there is nothing interesting because it won't be visible. It has to be attached inside uh, full part. Next we have another large plastic sprue. Again, I need a second to open plastic bag. Actually, it should be faster now because I have a special tool for separation of those paper clips. But still, I believe that in all future releases we will see sealable bags. These sealable bags. 
which are easier to use and you can use them after all. So here we have more of external elements, as you can see external armor, and some parts for the lower cool half. Again, note those large pieces of the external armor, it's really impressive that, for example, those fenders and boxes are molded as one piece elements out of the box. So you don't have to fit all this alignment and other impossible problems, you just get the part of the plastic frame and you are ready to install it on your Nagmahon. Next, we have plastic sprue with really noticeably big element. And I just need a second to remove this paper clip. Because it's really not removable. <laughs> okay. So here it is. Top hole part. As you can see here we have various engine meshes, handles carefully imitated in plastic. Also note that some hatches are molded separately, one is molded in. Here we have side armor, which is also molded as a one piece part. And overall again, quality seems to be fine. I can zoom in on the whole part so that you can check it closer. It's really impressive quality. Now we zoom out and turn our attention to other plastic sprue which is also carrying some really interesting parts. Just give me a second to open it and we will check it closer. Actually I can show you the process because it's really funny because you have to remove each paper clip and then carefully remove it out of the plastic bag and then just open the plastic bag. We all hate it, right? <laughs> so let's enjoy it together. Here we have another plastic sprue, note machine guns, which are also molded as a one piece parts and I can zoom camera so that you can see them closer. And now with the mount, front fenders which are also molded as a one piece parts, some hole elements and turret parts. Still impressive quality. Next we have plastic bag which wasn't close surprisingly and it carries a set of suspension parts, some road wheels and some external elements. And next we have last large plastic sprue. This one There is also whole parts, of course. And I will show them in a second. Okay, so here it is. Large side panels, uh, large um, attachments which should hold side armor. And here we have some other side armor panels, parts also equipment and note here a few cans which are molded together with holders I will zoom in camera so that you can see them closer here they are now we zoom out and now we can move to turret port which is more uh, packed into the separate plastic bag actually it will be nice to see it packed into the plastic box as it was in the first release nevertheless it is as it is. So here it is. One piece part. I can even zoom in so that you can check it closer. Inside there is nothing interesting. Outside of course you will have to remove those tabs in order to continue your assembly. Uh, lower cool half is also molded as one piece part. Which is actually a good advantage because you won't have to waste your time with separate panels alignment and you will be able to focus on the assembly process of external armor panels and other stuff and suspension elements. So here it is. As you can see there are special slots for interior parts. Here we have special um, places for suspension elements and of course rear armor wall will have to be separate. Next we have assembly manual. Assembly manual is designed in typical 
tiger model fashion, but I think you understand why I'm laughing. Here we have parts map, and then assembly process starts from the lower hull half. Note that frontal section driver place will be replicated a bit more thoroughly, while rear section is not that detailed. In total you will have to perform 38 steps and then there is a separate sheet for different external accessories and also we have let's say small poster which can be used as a poster for one marking option which is included here it was created in cooperation with Amomik so we have paint numbers in Amomik and Tamiya uh, designations vehicle is shown from all possible sides but it's quite a pity that there is only one marking option in such kit but I think it won't be a problem for you to find something alternative uh, so that's all for this video review I hope you enjoyed it I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below there are also in the video description you can find direct link for the review article and of course if you want to help us just like this video subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video as usual bye